Hello everybody, this is Gabis Games, and welcome to War Thunder Girls on Panther Simulator Mode. And today I'm gonna uh, show you guys how to install a few mods that can make your like War Thunder gameplay be full on Girls on Panther. This includes the background custom music, which you can hear, the custom skins that you can see on my tanks here, a custom set of sights, and custom kill messages as well as custom crew voices so uh first up we're gonna go um for tour installation progress we're gonna find a tank that we want to have modified with a custom skin so i'm gonna go and grab this m24 which i have not yet modified gonna go to customization and actually i see that i actually do have it here so uh never mind i guess uh let's find another one uh sherman customization okay i do not have a customization kit on this one so we're gonna go over to the creator user skin and it should create a new one so you can see here the template and the template here it does say sample 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 on it but um that's basically what we want. We want to have an extra skin there. Next up, we want to have a... Uh, go to test drive. Open it. And now we're going to go for the custom uh, sites. And uh, then we're going to go to options. And we're going to go here and say add a grid site. And mine actually already has one. So, uh, so to show you guys what it mean with it. This would be a custom grid site, and mine does actually not account for distance at all, which is kind of annoying. And there's your custom uh, voice mod. But uh, I don't really like this one, so note that you can actually change these on the fly when you're inside one of these matches. That's no problem. Realistic FOV. Uh, I don't really, I really don't like this one, so I'm just gonna go to the world grid side. But if you want to add a custom uh, side to this one, you have to click add a grid side. And it uh, create a user side in folder in game root folder. Press OK, OK, and now we can go back to the hangar. So you can do it with as many tanks as you want, but right now you only have to do it with one tank. Because if everything goes right, you do not have, actually have to do this by hand for all the other ones. You can simply copy paste stuff. So that's that. We're now going to leave the game and go find our root folder of War Thunder. Alright, there are two ways to where you can have the root folder. So first you're going to have your local disk, users, and then your username. And then add a backlash app data. And then go to local. And then you should find War Thunder all the way on the bottom. This is what happens if you have it on a local launcher, not using Steam. If you do use Steam, you have to go to Program Files, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and then War Thunder. And this is where you can find actually my files. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is have to edit the config.blk file. This is what we have to change if we want to have the uh, sound mod installed, or the music mod installed, or the custom kill messages, which I actually am not sure whether I showed you guys, but... Um, and why do you notice? But if I actually kill an enemy tank, it does actually say target destroyed. I have a different text in there. So we're going to open this one. And we're going to go down to the debug area. For the custom kill messages, we're going to add the test localization. This double dot B equals yes. And for the sound mod, we're going to add this little line of text. Enable mod B equals yes. Then we're gonna prepare for that. We're gonna save it up close. And we're gonna prepare for a sound mod by going to the sound tab and say add new um, new folder and call it mod. And that said, uh, we have to restart the game now, close it again, and then we should find the all the following folders. So the user skins, and you should have a uh, M4, here it is, M4A1 1942 Sherman. This is the normal skin. I have not changed it. So uh, that's the one that we actually just created. And in the meanwhile, with the user size, we should find a US 
M4A194 to Sherman. There it is. And this one actually is the cut. Uh, here you can see normal and realistic and side one. And side one should be the standard side. And so you actually, no, it is not. So actually, yeah, uh, the one that's the side one is actually the side that we ha created with the, um, when we in, uh, clicked that one button. That's where that thing showed up. So that's the side one. Since we do not want it, we can actually delete that one again. But if you download your sites and everything, I'm just gonna go over to live.wartender.com, which is one of the easiest way to download these all. So see you guys in there. All right, so we arrived at live.wartender.com. I'm first gonna set to popular because generally at popular, you can find the most, uh, well, popular and the best uh, ones overall. First, we're gonna go to camouflages and uh, we're gonna check that hashtag Sherman and since we're doing the weep stuff here, Hills und Panzer. Enter and see what we can find here. And once I actually find the uh, Sherman that we want, I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so we found our skin, the M4A1 Sherman. And we're just gonna press download and save it. And we'll have the Sherman M4A1.zip. And we should immediately have the template folder. So we can simply say extract to, and then we can go find, I'm gonna just go save it in war, my Wartender mods, skin mods, okay. Close it, and then we're gonna over to that folder. So that's that, we can just simply select it, say cut or copy, doesn't really matter. And then go to Warfinder, Use your skins and right click and paste it. And there it is. So you guys see that one underscore Sherman. So this one should be the same. So I should be able to like select it because actually the actual full name here doesn't matter as long as the files here. So you're gonna see underscore Sherman. And this one, oh, you can see here clean and non clean. So it actually has two different variations as well. And that might actually have to be to, or something to watch out, but it shouldn't really matter as with my, first of all, my uh, tank right here, as you can see two different ones. That doesn't matter. So you can just paste it here and you're done with the user skin. So now on, we're gonna go to the user size. Well, actually it is the same. So I don't really have to show, uh, show it guys. You just have to find one that you want. Then you go to user sites and I paste it. And in my case, I downloaded a full one that has sites for pretty much all of the US vehicles and one that has all German vehicles. There's also one for Br uh, British, I think, and then at, uh, especially Russian, there's one as well. But I don't really need those. I especially wanted ones for the German ones, namely the rotating realistic sites and some of the US tanks as well. I wanted to see what those could have. And that, again, you can just paste them here. If you want to delete them for the referee, you can just select them, press delete, done. They're gone. Same with user skins, just select them, delete, gone. Now with the sound mods, again, remember we had that uh, mod uh, folder made. And here we can just paste our files as well. So you're gonna have different uh, sound mods and I'm based on the names of these files. So first you have crew ships. Those are gonna give you different ship crew sounds. Then uh, well, if cannons that kind of uh, have different cannon tank tank cannon sounds, ambient sounds, ambient tank sounds. You can have all different sounds, but mainly you're gonna have the crew tanks. Those are that's your crew voices, and dialogues are similar to that as well. They have some SFX um, uh, and other effects, but the biggest ones are gonna be the music. Music 01 right here, those two are together, and the crew names, those are the pretty important ones. So as you can see here, I got the music and music 01 files here, I got some dialogue files here, and I have the crew tanks of different countries. So the Russian one gives me the crush, uh, will uh, modify the Russian crew voices. So if your game is set to uh, Russian or the game is set to uh, have the crews talk to their realistic languages, uh, then all your Russian, well then specifically then you will have all your Russian tankers speak whatever sound mod you have installed here instead of normal Russians. Same here with my Japanese, German and English. 
once. English is sadly and American and British. You cannot have those separate, which is kind of a bummer. In my case, these are Gulls and Panzer sound mods, but I modified them to uh, have a Katusha. For the ones that actually are familiar with the franchise, will know what I'm talking about to be Russian, Darjeeling to be English, and the URI team is Japanese and German. Um, because I do not have any Italian crew sound bots or uh, French crew sound bots in here, I will have the normal game sounds. Whatever, if you are using a file here, it will replace the sounds of the file that is here. So here I have again the crew tank English. This one will no longer be used. It will be inactive for as long as I have a crew tank English file right here. If I want my sound bots gone, again, just select them, delete them. And if you want them entirely gone and make sure they are gone, you can just select mod and uh, delete them as an entirety. Do not, I repeat, do not uh, replace the files here. Always enable the mod folder and paste them here because otherwise um, the game can report you for illegal modifications because they was like, hey, the files are no longer consistent. And you can get in trouble for that. So always paste them in a separate folder. That way you have the original files. They are safe. And if anything happens, you can simply press delete. But we are not done yet. No, no, no. We have one more modification to do. And that has to do with the custom kill messages. And for that, we have to find the lang folder. To find this folder, we first have to restart the game after changing the config file. And then we have to locate the menu CSV file. And it's got to be really chaotic. So what we're going to do is do control F. We get a search bar. And you search exp underscore reasons. Then you should have, you get a little list here. Of exp reasons. And uh, right here you can see kill is aircraft destroyed. And you see a lot of different variations here. So among other things, you can fi find Fluxux here throughout. If you are a German player, you will have, and you're like half your game language set to German, you can modify this little piece of text to whatever you want to change it to what you have. In my case, my game is set to English, so I have to like uh, change the aircraft destroyed message. In my case, I um, changed the kill message for ground targets destroyed, for hit and critical hits, and uh, for capturing a base. So I went for the bit of Mimi sides. This is my swap now when I capture. Ome wa mo shindru when I kill someone. And Nani when I hit or critical hit someone. And note that if you're changing these files right here, the critical hit and hit, something I noticed is that um, the game no longer differentiates between hits and critical hits. So you always get the hit message. So uh, even if I change this to cri a critical hit again, I, I don't know what's exactly going on, but you are modifying a file here. If you want to undo these changes, first you can normally go put the text to what you have before, but you should be able to just delete the file. So just like press delete, or auto, and then it should re-download. But to, if you want to make sure everything goes right, make a backup of both the menu .csv file and the config.bok file before you start. It might be a little bit of wait for the config file, but the config file is the easiest one to like undo. You simply find your uh, debug and sound parts, and you simply delete this line, and you delete that line, and you're done. Then um, you, also, if you set this one to no, your sound mods will no longer activate, or if you like delete it, will no, the sound mods will no longer work. If you delete this text, your uh, the unique uh, kill message will also no longer work. That's it. We're gonna go back into the game and see what uh, if the changes have worked. All right, we're first starting out with the glorious music, and we're gonna go look up our M4A1 Sherman customization. And we have the clean and non-clean. And here you can see the Sherman one. This should be the, yep, there's the sample one. Since we did not delete the file. So this is the non-clean one and we have a clean one. The clean one looks almost plastic. So I'm gonna go with the non-clean one, which I like better. And there we go. We got ourselves a custom skin. 
And then again, uh, if you have a, uh, you can simply copy paste to ha uh, and do the same thing with the user sites to have various user sites. Um, there are some really high quality ones like my Panzer Profils Wagons uh, rotating site, which even though it's not perfect, um, it does re do really well. Another thing to point out with these user sites is if you look at this, uh, let's first go to the normal one. Uh, default grid side. So look at where the circle is and where the crosshair is. And here you can see the side moves up and the crosshair stays in place. This is really easy and simple, but it doesn't work with all sides. So uh, again, let's go to the um, TFC side. Here, my side actually goes down instead of up. So I actually have to move up my mouse in order to aim up where I want. And this should be around, there's over 600 meters, 700 meters. And here you can see Owe Wamo Shinderu, the kill message. And let's hit this thing with the machine guns a little bit. See if we can hit, get a good hit message. Yep, there we go. Nani. And there go my custom voice mods. Um, the voice mods are our Various voice mods are various mo sound bots. Uh, Fly Daily recently got a uh, gun sound mod, which was uh, is also pretty funny. You can install pretty much as many mods as you want, as long as they do not interfere with each other. So you can only have one mod inter like changing the English crew sounds, and you can have only one mod changing these uh, music files. If you want to have multiple, so like you want to have both this music and the normal music you have to find a way to actually edit the mod like the mod files themselves which is going to be pretty hard so um i'm not going to show you guys how to do that that is not the purpose of today's video but i just hope you guys uh like uh think this is got to be some nice modifications and uh it should not be bannable because all of these are only on your side uh you do not have any difference in engine sound noises or whatever or whatever else that could give you an unfair advantage. So that said, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, I would love to hear if any of you actually installed all of the mods that I did. Um, I will l link all of the ones that I have down in the description separately as well as just where to find all the different various mods. And I actually will have to upload the uh, combined voice mod because again, I have uh, actually have three sound pods into one that um, uh, I'll actually have to upload that one myself because otherwise you can only get uh, or Darjeeling or Katusha or um, uh, the URI team. And I actually have all three of them and I actually had to do some tampering with the files themselves to actually achieve that. So I'm not going to have you guys do that. I'm just going to help you guys out a little bit and actually send that up one uh, for download as well. That said, I hope you guys all enjoyed and I will see you guys all on the battlefield. Bye guys.